What do you think about open relationships? Are you jealous? Are you scared to end up alone? How long did it take you to mend after your breakup? Are you ever going to bring your dreads back? Have you ever had mental health problems? Good morning guys, it is Thursday and I have a big day of shooting pieces at my mom's. I will begin with shooting pieces of vintage pictures of vintage and then afterwards I have some new products for Wonderlocks that I'm gonna shoot I have not vlogged for a long time I feel a little bit weird doing it I haven't vlogged for two weeks and I feel like I've gone like out of the rhythm so I'm gonna try my best to vlog today but bit over with me it's been a while I might forget to vlog we'll see but I'm gonna begin with some vintage pieces I'm wearing the first skirt so yeah I've brought with me my radio to entertain me. This is a pretty cute outfit. This is a top. I would say this is a size extra small. And then this lovely green skirt that's also a size extra small. I haven't closed it completely on the back. I think this is a very cute set. Very summery. Love this skirt. This is really cute as well. I'm wearing this silky skirt. It's very beautiful. And then this oversized blouse. I think this is a pretty cool outfit. Another cute set. This lovely blue blouse that's very oversized. It's probably a size extra large. But I love wearing oversized blouses. And I'm in size small to medium. And then with this beautiful skirt. It has like the perfect matching color and everything. I'm almost done with skirts or will soon be done with skirts. Then I have a few dresses and then I have new things that aren't vintage that I'm gonna shoot. So it is lunch break time. My mom have bought some things for us and she is sitting in the garden. She have a day off today. So I'm gonna eat some lunch and then I'll continue. I still have a few vintage pieces left. Not much, I'm almost through. I just have a few dresses, a few tops and then I'm gonna shoot some new pieces, scarves, some beautiful things lunch break is over i'm back into some vintage and i will continue i have four five six pieces of vintage left and then we're gonna continue with some other things being done with this one now means that i'm actually done with the vintage pieces this is the last one that I shot it's like a very oversized blouse i would say almost like a boyfriend blouse that you have stolen so you can like wear it open with something underneath or yeah, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to move on to the rest of the things that I have. I'm going to shoot. I'm a little bit tired of the weather. It just keeps changing. It's now super cloudy with a little bit of sun from time to time. As you can see, it's changing now. It changes all the time. So it's very difficult to photograph because you might find a place that's good for a minute or two and then the sun changes and then it's not a good spot anyway so I'm gonna try my best I've put on this dress I'm just gonna put you here I've put on this dress that's going to be new on Wonderlocks I have decided to wear the one in a size medium but I should have sized down to a size small it would have looked more flattering um, but it's very cute I've got pockets here so yeah I'm gonna try my best to continue shooting some pieces but like the lighting is challenging me a lot. These are some of the new patterns. This is a dress, a dress and then some jumpsuits that I'm just going to iron. Here's another update after quite a while. I am trying to deal with the ever changing weather and I uh, have finally made it to shoot some of the absolutely new gorgeous pieces. This is a one piece. That will be added soon in this color and in another color as well. Look how cute the sleeves are. I love that it comes with the belt so that it can fit your waist perfectly. And then it's just like super duper comfortable. Very like light and lovely. Made in Italy. So um, yeah, just quickly wanted to show you that. I'm gonna head out, continue shooting. I have four more pieces left before I'm done. It's like half past three, I think. So it's been a long day and I still have things to shoot, so I'm just gonna crack on. I should in no way complain 
but my back hurts a little bit. My mom has been doing garden work for as long as I've been shooting products. I think I've been shooting for like six hours. It's the longest product shoot I think I've ever done. I'm really tired now. Like, yeah, and my back hurts a little bit. I don't know why actually, but I'm assuming my mother's even more exhausted than I am. I'm gonna go out in here if there's something I can help with. I actually think she's about done as well. So we've both spent, she's spent six hours fixing the garden. I've spent six hours shooting pieces. So, <sighs> It's been the prettiest weather today. But Mitzi has just been sleeping in here all day. You haven't even noticed. It's been 22 degrees. Blue sky. You don't care? No, you're not even considering heading out. Are you gonna go out? You're just gonna think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. It's gonna rain soon. And on the other side of the house, there is an even darker cloud. That one hiding there is also dark. It is gonna rain, I think. Here comes the rain, do 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 do. Here comes the rain, it's all now, it's all right. For anyone who might want to know a little bit about the Danish summer, the Danish weather in general, we normally have summer like this. Um, with days that can change a lot and maybe with like a temperature around 20 degrees we do not have many days around 25 to 30 degrees that's more of a rare thing here um, but last year we had wonderful weather basically from May to I think September we had this seriously the craziest summer ever once in a while when you, when you check like the weather cast and um, the weather was better here than in Italy, Greece, some of the places that we normally travel to to get sunny weather. Last summer also, like the experience last summer has also resulted in a major like focus on in the environment here in Denmark. We just had an election. Uh, was it last week? I'm not good with the time. I think it was last week we voted and um, it's been an environment election. People have voted for the politics, politicians that are very focused on changing or impact on the environment, all of the issues that there is right now. Um, so it's like the weather is usually like this in the summer but it's like last summer has just changed something in our brains and I think a lot of Danes have to just be reminded that this is how Danish summer is mostly like. So around 20 degrees, not just a full day with the blue sky, maybe a couple of hours and then it can rain a little and then be beautiful again. It's just how it is and I think I just have to get used to that as well. Good morning guys, it is Friday and can you hear me for the class? I have an open window because today is actually a warm day again. It's going to be another day of the typical Danish weather I think because right now the sky is blue. Oh I have a bee in here, I'm gonna help it out in a second. For now the sky is super blue, it's really warm, it's beautiful but they say that it's gonna rain later so uh, we have to enjoy it. As long as it's gonna last. I was right about yesterday, I forgot to vlog. I came back home, I was so exhausted. Then I cleaned in here. Yeah, you can get out. Here you go. Yeah, so I came back home here yesterday, cleaned my apartment, and then I was just so exhausted. I made dinner and then I just watched another episode of Handmaid's Tale and fell asleep very early. So, yeah, today. I have two things planned. I'm gonna go to my mom soon and then when she gets back from work we're gonna go to Deer School. Uh, Deer School is a place where you can go look at a bunch of animals. There are cows, horses, rabbits, hens, pigs, 
stalks and so on i think i don't know why it was made for the first time but it's a very cool place for people who live in the city to go with their kids and to see animals um, so we're gonna go there have a look we have some friends who are there with the horse and then later tonight I'm gonna help my badminton club at an event we're going to be putting like plates in and out I think from a bunch of people who are eating something like that some kind of service that we're gonna do that's going to be tonight so yeah I am wearing this one piece by the way that I shot yesterday I've decided to keep the yellow one I think it's so beautiful I think it's perfect for the things I'm gonna do today and also it's gonna be really warm so it's very open and light and then yeah I just love it it's so cute so I'll promise I'll have this up on the web shop when this video goes up but yeah we're gonna head out enjoy the weather oh actually I quickly want to show you this I was sent this today why is it that my camera won't focus anymore there we go I got this in the post today my new phone cover it's so beautiful it's gifted to me by the way and it's from ideal of Sweden I have been using my phone now ever since I got it without having a cover I've actually dropped it once on a very hard floor where I got a scratch down here and one up the side so it's about time that I get one because next week I'm gonna go to tinderbox festival I'm gonna leave my old vlogs from tinderbox festival down below I think I have at least one if you want to watch that that would be fun because I had dreadlocks back then I think it's two years ago I'm gonna leave that down below but that's next week and I thought it would be amazing to have a phone cover by then which I now have so that's great and it's so beautiful I love green and then it's like Mabel marble we say marmo in Danish <laughs> That's how much water a cow drinks a day and how much they eat a day. That's crazy. Hey, I just quickly wanted to tune in and tell you how it went before I get something to eat and fall asleep. I have been serving 730 people, not just I, but as a team tonight, we've been serving 730 people. It's been absolutely hectic and I don't even know how to express it. I explained it to Julianne when she came and drove, drove me home like serving was so difficult it would be as if you would have to serve 730 people in a nightclub because no one was interested in food they pretty much showed up there super duper drunk they were like 730 grown up people I think the average age was 40 <laughs> like they were grown up but they were so drunk so when we made it to the dessert it was an absolutely it was absolute chaos like everyone were dancing between the tables and you could got you couldn't get through it was crazy you have no idea and we have been running around as chickens for five hours i've just calculated how many steps i've taken today and we we're talking more than forty thousand steps I am so tired I don't really want to stand up anymore so I'm gonna grab a bite to eat because I haven't had anything since a quarter past four o'clock this afternoon so I really need a bit of food and then I'm probably gonna black out I'm so tired so yeah I'm gonna catch up with you tomorrow good night It 
is working. It's charging. Oh my god, that's the cutest charger station in the world. I love that. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday morning. And I am just going to write down the things that I need. So that I can do a bit of grocery shopping when I'm going to go talk to my driver's license teacher. Because it sounds like he has a final test, a practical test for me. For my driver's license so i'm gonna go talk to him it's a horrible weather like thunder rain and there's still like the duo school we went to yesterday it's still on like it's on all weekend so also tomorrow and i feel so sorry for them due to like the weather but there's not much to do actually it's typical it's always in the weekend that we have duo school that this is like the weather so yeah, I'm gonna go and do groceries and go talk to my driver's license teacher and then I'll get back and just chill today. I feel like I can feel all the steps in my body. I can also feel how much I've used this arm. I carried in some water bottles yesterday. All of the other girls, they were too carrying one of these like... Uh, what to call those? I don't know, but there were some kind of baskets that could carry, I think it was 15 water bottles at the time. And the other girls or women, they were too carrying them. But since we were five, I thought I'm going to try to do one myself. And afterwards, I've been carrying so many things. So my arm is really sore. Yeah, it's going to be a chill day today. I wanted to go, go do fitness. That was the plan yesterday. But it's not gonna happen. I'm just way too exhausted. I'm just gonna work from bed today. I just quickly wanted to recommend this one again. I wore it yesterday. It is absolutely amazing. It's so comfortable, so cute and flattering. I love these sleeves. It was just the best thing to wear yesterday when the weather was good. I love it so, so much. I'm really happy that I decided to keep this one. Um, it's also in a green color scheme that's super beautiful as well. I did not know which one to choose and to keep, but it's just overall an amazing piece and I'm gonna leave a link to it down below. But yeah, I've written down what I need. I'm gonna head out and do the grocery shopping now. This is my favorite elderflower drink it's so good but you have to get two to get it on offer i'm not gonna do that not today I just got a date for my final test. I don't think I'm gonna tell you right now when it is. I'm gonna update you when we got closer to it. And I'm also gonna tell you how it goes, but to put as less pressure on myself as possible, I'm not gonna tell you when it is, but it's soon. And I just talked to my teacher. He said that the last 15 to 20 students that he had they passed first time around. I've just always heard that it's so normal to not pass the first one and then pass the second because you just need to calm your nerves and also it's good to try it once so that the next time you know how the procedure is and like how it goes. So we're just gonna have to wait and see. I'm gonna try to see if I can not put pressure on myself this time because I know I will drive better with no pressure. So yeah, I'm really sweaty. It might be really rainy and like thunder-ish, but it's still warm. I have bought this today that I'm really excited to try. It's like a mayo sauce. I think I've tried something like this and it was so delicious. And then I got some of these that I'm gonna use in my lunch. And I got some cola because that's exactly what I'm craving for today. So I'm gonna put that in the fridge for it to cool down. 
And then I also got some juice. As you saw, I got myself some more cheeses. So it's kind of been a bit of an unhealthy food shop. I have decided I'm gonna end my vlog here. I know that I haven't vlogged much today. I'm just so tired that it actually makes me feel kind of in a bad mood. I'm so exhausted, like physically. I also kind of mentally have not had a day or for quite a while. Um, like a day just to myself to do something for me. So I'm just exhausted. I have today, tomorrow and then some work Monday. And then I hope to be able to take most of next week off so that I'm not going to be working much next week, which will be much needed. So leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this vlog, guys. And then I'm going to vlog again soon. I know this was my first vlog in a couple of weeks, so let me know if you enjoyed it. And I will try to incorporate some more videos, vlogs. <laughs> um, yeah, let me know. I'm gonna see you all soon. Bye.